I'm sat here looking at this pile and I have absolutely no clue where these are going. Hey guys, so I was trying to clean up my room earlier and I realized that I actually have a pile of puzzles that I realized I never actually shared with you. And these are all puzzles that I had either picked up or were given in January. Hit that like button if you're guilty of buying too many puzzles, like me. I also realized whilst I was cleaning that I am in desperate need of places to put the rest of these puzzles. Because the original pile that I had, I was able to find a home for. But now I seem to have developed another pile and now I need to make more space for them. Now I know some of you may suggest that I should probably start giving some away. But to be perfectly honest, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. But I'm sure at some point in the future that time will come and I will be ready to part ways with some of my sets. But as of right now, that isn't happening. So anyways, here is my secret January pile of puzzles that I've accumulated. Our first one today, well actually these, there's two that are from kind of the same set, same series. But the first one of that is a Robinsberger puzzle from Disney's Villainous. And this is the Maleficent set. It's 1,000 pieces and it is 27 by 20 inches when it's completed. And this particular Ravensburger Villainous puzzle set contains a collector's piece from the actual Villainous board game. And I really like the design of this Villainous collection. So obviously for this one, this one is Sleeping Beauty. So we got scenes and picture frames from the film as well as a nice really big picture of Maleficent. And the other Villainous set that I have is of the Evil Queen. And again, this is from the Ravensburger Disney Villainous Collection. And this one also has a collector's piece for the Villainous board game. It is a 1000 piece puzzle and is 27 by 20 inches when it's completed. And again, like the Maleficent one, this one has different scenes of the Snow White movie in picture frames. I feel like these sets are really nice if you want to display them on your wall in a picture frame or something like that. And I do like, for example, in the Evil Queen set, how, you know, you still have pictures of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, basically the other characters in the movie. I do also have the Gaston set, and I showed that in an earlier haul video, but I'm, I'm happy to be growing this villainous collection. I'm not sure how many there are in total. I think there might be, I don't know, at least Six? No, there has to be more than that. I've seen a ton of them. But I don't actually own the Villainous board game. And I feel like that's something I should pick up at some point. If any of you have that game, let me know what, they're, what it's like in the comments. I think I'm definitely going to pick it up at some point so I can make use of the collector's pieces that are included because you're meant to use them in that, in that game. These I didn't actually pick up myself. My husband picked these up for me when I was... I was home sick and trying to recuperate and he surprised me with them. So that was, that made me feel better. The next puzzle I have in my hidden pile here is one that I picked up from Walmart. Well, actually it's one of two or three that I picked up at Walmart um, sometime in January. And this is from Disney's Thomas Kincaid Studios. It's called Mad Hatter's Tea Party and it is 750 pieces and 24 inches by 18 inches when it's completed. And this one is by Seiko. And like all Seiko puzzles, it does come with the puzzle poster. And I was really excited when I saw this at Walmart because I had not actually seen an Alice in Wonderland puzzle from this series. And I'm sure it may have been out for like the longest, but none of the Walmarts that I had been to actually had it until I stopped in at that Walmart that particular day. Now, aside from the fact that Alice in Wonderland just happens to be like my earliest memory of watching a Disney movie, this image is absolutely fantastic. There's just so much fun stuff going on here. You have the Cheshire Cat, you have the White Rabbit on the bottom looking all frantic. There's Alice there looking all curious. You got the Mad Hatter, that crazy bunny. And the poor little clams on the side there that happens to be my earliest memory of being traumatized. Because, you know, the poor things get eaten. That was quite depressing, really. I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one messed up by that scene when I first saw it. I love how this image is so colorful as well. And this is going to be a great addition to my, you know, Disney Seiko puzzle collection. Even though I don't honestly think much about Seiko, but, I mean, I have to admit, I love the Thomas Kincaid designs. 
The next puzzle that I picked up from that same trip from Walmart is also by Seiko and also from the Disney's Thomas Kincaid Studios collection. And this one's called Geppetto's Pinocchio. It is 750 pieces and it is 24 inches by 18 inches when it's completed. And again, with Seiko, you get the puzzle poster as well, you know, which is always a plus for me. Now, Pinocchio is one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. And the image in this set is absolutely gorgeous. You have Geppetto playing with Pinocchio. You have all his clocks and toys in the background. He's got something boiling over the fire. It's very homey, very cozy in here. It gives me like a very warm feeling. Now, I absolutely love this image. Although it's a little bit confusing considering that the blue fairy just so happens to be in the middle of the room here and Geppetto doesn't really seem to notice her. But you know, that's okay. He's not really looking through his glasses, so that's probably why he can't see her. She kind of gives a pop of color to this whole scene. But yeah, this is going to be a fun one to put together just by the image alone. Now, the last one that I picked up from that Walmart trip is actually from a brand that I do not, well, I did not own at the time, but now I do. And this one is from Spin Masters Puzzles. It is called Gloria Rose General Store, and it looks like it's from the series by Tom and Tonishak. This is a 1,000 piece puzzle and it is 27 inches by 20 inches when it's completed. Now the reason why I picked up this set from Spin Masters Puzzles is because when you look in the back here, it does talk about it having what they call a satisfying snap. And they use precision cut dies and advanced machinery to create unique puzzle pieces that fit together securely every time. And I found that interesting. I wonder if it's going to be a more satisfying experience when you pop those pieces in. The colors of this image look very vibrant. For one, I love the image that's depicted here. Something about this image reminded me of like, it took me back to Oregon Trail for some reason. You have this general store here. It really looks to be depicting a time period during the times of the pioneers living on the frontiers. I really love that part of American history. And that's really what this image reminded me of. I mean, that lady could be me. I mean, she looks way older than what I am, but you know, I wouldn't, I could say I could see myself walking out of that general store. They look to have some really good things just by judging what's on display at the windows. And look at those prices, five, six, seven cents. Those are my kind of prices. This is gonna really make me feel like I'm living on the frontier. I find that time period very fascinating. But yeah, I look forward to working on this one too, especially getting to experience that satisfying snap. The next one that I picked up was during my quick trip to Niagara Falls. And this one is a masterpieces puzzle. And it is called Old Fort Niagara Castle. It is 500 pieces and it is 21 inches by 15 inches when it's completed. Now, I recently worked on my first masterpieces puzzle, so I know I'm going to enjoy this one. Of course, it has the poster included. We have a really good puzzle piece size. And I picked this one up at the Old Fort Niagara gift shop. It's actually a whole site where you can visit this castle and walk inside it and walk around the entire fort from like the 1800s. It's very fascinating. We love going there. So it was nice to be able to take something back this time because I don't remember seeing these the last time we went to go visit. I did wish they had 1,000 piece puzzles, but you know, I can't complain. At least they had something. So this is great because I can actually say that I have been here quite a few times and I have walked in this building, so I know what it's like in here. So it's really gonna kind of take me back as I put this image together and give me, you know, some good memories. And I'm pretty sure the next time I go back, I'm gonna pick up the other two sets that they have there. The next one that I have here is one that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and it's from a brand that I didn't own before. And this is from the company Eurographics Puzzles. It is called Cookie Party. It is 1000 pieces and it is 19 and a quarter inches by 26, five, eight inches. And the main absolute reason why I picked this one up, as I'm sure you saw on the box, was that it was reduced all the way down to $3.99 from $14.99. So that was a huge savings. I figured I can't pass up a price like that, especially for a puzzle from a brand that I didn't have at the time. 
But you know, on top of the fact that the price was super dirt cheap, this image is a lot of fun to look at. I love cookies. Don't tell me you don't love cookies. And my second favorite cookie, with my number one being chocolate chip, of course, are the sugar cutout cookies. And you got tons of fun designs here. I'm pretty sure I can eat all these cookies in one sitting and then, you know, cry about it afterwards whilst suffering with massive heartburn. And then you have this awesome looking cup of coffee on the side here as well. So this puzzle was like a real treat to me, especially being dirt cheap. But yeah, I'll be interested to try a puzzle from Eurographics. I've heard some good things about them, but it'll be nice to actually try it out for the first time. I'll make sure to have plenty of coffee and cookies next to me as I do it. Now, I wasn't actually going to show the next two puzzles until I kind of did like the puzzle review reveal of it. But I figured, you know, considering that I did get them in January, I might as well just show them to you because they're really cool sets. And these were ones that were also sent to me from the company Cubic Fun. So, you know, these next two are going to be 3D puzzles. Now, you saw my first one, which was Neuschwanstein Castle, but they also let me have the Paris Notre Dame set. And this one is 128 pieces. And it measures at 14 by 7 by 9.4 inches when it's completed. This one's going to be really awesome. Notre Dame is definitely a place that I want to visit one day, which was one of the reasons why I picked it. But I don't know how much harder or how much easier this is going to be compared to my Neuschwanstein castle. This one does not actually have LED lights to it, so it might be slightly easier, but I don't know. We'll see, right? Now that I have kind of like an idea of how to go about 3D puzzles, I don't feel like this one is going to be as confusing to start like Neuschwanstein Castle was because I kind of like already have the experience, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I can't wait to do this one. I'll just have to figure out where I'm going to display it afterwards. And the last puzzle that I chose from their website, and they sent it to me as well, this is a big one. This one I know is not going to be easy because it is much bigger and looks way more complicated. This one is called Queen Anne's Revenge, Blackbeard's Ship. It is 340 scary looking pieces. And I cannot picture exactly how big this one's gonna be because I'm not very good in visualizing centimeters, but I'm gonna give you the measurements anyways. It is 67.7 by 25.4 by 63.3 centimeters when it's completed. I kind of have a feeling this is gonna be a really big one just by judging from the size of the box. Now, in terms of where I'm going to put this when it's completed, my husband's already claimed this one for his room, so that's not going to be a problem. I think my bigger problem is having the patience to put it together. This one has a complexity of eight stars, which is pretty much a different scale compared to the Neuschwanstein castle, which only gave me three, six, seven stars. Neuschwanstein was six out of seven stars, but this one is showing me eight stars. So that doesn't really give me an idea. But I mean, considering that it's a higher number than Neuschwanstein, yeah, this one's going to kick my butt. It's a fantastic looking ship, though. I love the dark colors. I think this one's going to look absolutely amazing. And this one does have LED lights in it. This one's going to be an absolute beast when it's done. Aside from, I'm sure, being an absolute beast whilst completing it but we'll see right it's definitely not going to be an easy one but i look forward to completing it because i think it's going to look absolutely amazing so that'll be coming up in the future well that was a big pile let me know down below if you have any of these puzzle sets and if not did you pick up anything interesting recently i'm sat here looking at this pile and i have absolutely no clue where these are going i really need to sit and think about how I'm going to reorganize all my current sets so that I can somehow fit them along with the other ones here. I just got to like kind of plan it first and figure out what I'm going to do in terms of making space in my current space, but we'll figure it out. But that will for sure be another organization video that'll be coming in the near future. If you'd like to catch me putting these puzzle sets together, 
be sure to subscribe so that you can follow along with me on my jigsaw journey, pick up any tips and tricks that I come up with, and of course, see what else I get up to with puzzles. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.